welcome back to another video with teacher satya guys now in this video i'll be teaching you guys on how to find the size of the labeled angles in these triangles all right now let's get to it all right guys so first of all in order to find angle a we will be using the angle sum property of triangles all right so what it states that that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees all right so let's form an equation first so in order to find angle a we see that angle a plus 60 degrees plus this right angle which is 90 degrees all of them add up to 180 degrees right guys three angles add up to 180 degrees now let's add up these two numbers 60 plus 90 is 150 so a plus 150 is equal to 180 right now subtracting both sides with 150 we have a is equal to 180 minus 150 therefore the value of a is equal to 30 degrees guys value of a is equal to 30 degrees now we'll be using the same understanding to find the measure of angle b so first of all let's form an equation so we see that b plus 45 degrees plus this right angle which is 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees right now b plus 135 is equal to 180 now subtracting both sides with 135 we have b is equal to 180 minus 135 therefore the value of b is equal to 45 degrees guys the value of b is equal to 45 degrees now let's go into question number two all right now in question number two guys we'll also be using the knowledge of isosceles triangle now we know that in an isosceles triangle two sides will be equal and two angles will be equal now the angles that are equal will always be equal to the opposite side of the equal angles guys I did say too many equals that didn't I now let's go ahead and solve for f all right let's form an equation so first so f plus this right angle which is 90 degrees plus 35 degrees add up to 180 degrees right guys now let's add it up so f plus 125 is equal to 180 now subtracting both sides is 125 we have f is equal to 180 minus 125 therefore f is equal to 55 degrees right guys f is equal to 55 degrees now using the the understanding of isosceles triangle we know that angle e will immediately be 55 degrees right guys because the equal angles in an isosceles triangle will always be opposite to the equal sides right now since we have found angle e we can go ahead and find angle d straight away so let's form an equation so we know that angle d plus angle e plus this right angle which is 90 degrees add up to 180 degrees right guys so we know that angle d plus angle e which we have is 55 degrees plus 90 is equal to 180 right guys so d plus 145 is equal to 180 degrees and angle d is equal to 180 minus 145 therefore angle d is equal to 35 degrees guy and it's as simple as that now that is how we will find the unknown angles in triangles all right guys now i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did do not forget to hit on that like button guys and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos now until next time guys have a nice day